Well, it's Friday here in Berea, and Miles Garrett was not on the practice field today. He is questionable for Sunday's game in Atlanta, but we did get to hear from Miles Garrett for the first time since his accident on Monday. Mary Kay, what stood out to you about what Miles had to say today? You know what, Dan? There were two things. The first thing was that it was definitely a wake up call, this crash that he had on Monday, which is good because he has been doing way too much speeding throughout Northeast Ohio over the past four or five years. And then the other thing was that he is grateful to be alive. And anybody who saw pictures of that Porsche understands why he feels that way. Now, he did have uh, sort of a scary looking burst blood vessel in his eye when he talked to us. So uh, I don't know if he's going to play. He's got some sore body parts, but everyone is just very happy that he and his passenger are OK. Yeah, Ashley, was there anything that stood out to you from what Miles had to say today? Really kind of what we had been speculating about leading up to today, which was the fact that sometimes after car accidents, your body starts to maybe feel worse after you thought maybe you were kind of turning a corner that you might not know the full extent of your injuries until a few days after. And Miles basically said, he feels better now, but that kind of happened to him to some extent that he woke up a little more sore today than he was yesterday, for example. And it also kind of stood out to me that he wasn't just 100% gung ho about I have to play this game. Like Mary Kay said, he's very grateful that this wasn't worse and he's willing to listen to the coaches and the medical staff so they can all make this decision together. Uh, now, Mary Kay, uh, like I said earlier, he did not practice today. That's usually a bad sign for players when it comes to whether they're going to play or not. Now, Jadavion Clowney also did not practice today. That's another one we're keeping an eye on. He's also questionable. But when it comes to miles, Kevin Stefanski said they'll make a determination in the next 24 to 48 hours. Miles made it sound like a game time decision, but I feel like this is something that they'll kind of get through walk through tomorrow and they just might have a firm answer on this by then. Yeah, they might. And, you know, I asked this question of both Kevin and Miles Garrett about what happened with Tua last night in that game. And was that a cautionary tale for playing Miles on Sunday? And I really think that it should be. Uh, he was in a horrific accident on Monday. He said that he hit his head. He was not diagnosed with a concussion, but neither was Tua. And we saw what happened when Tua had another impact on Thursday night. So I think everyone should take this into account. I actually think, you know, maybe the league should weigh in, maybe even the NFLPA. And I think everyone has to exercise great caution here. And Ashley, it's Miles' job to want to get out there and play. You expect that out of a player, especially one with aspirations like Miles has. But there's people in this building behind us that are getting paid a lot of money to make those decisions. And it might just be a case where somebody has to step in and say, no, you've got to sit this one out. And it almost sounds to some extent like I think Miles Garrett gets that part of it, the way he was talking today. Like I said, he wasn't super gung ho about I'm playing and I'm doing it no matter what advice I'm given. He seems very open to kind of taking that advice and having this be a collaborative process because like we've talked about, the worst case scenario is that he goes out there, plays, he's not ready and something worse happens and then he's out for an extended period. So he just seems very open to this process. All right, Browns play the Falcons on Sunday. We don't know yet if Miles Garrett will be on the field for them. As I mentioned, he is questionable. Jadavion Clowney also questionable. Good news, Jeremiah Wusukoromoa and Denzel Ward will both play in that game, so the defense will have so at least some of their key pieces. We'll cover everything that happens. Uh, and Miles' status leading up to the game during the game at cleveland.com slash browns.